Hey guys, I'm here. Welcome back to New Stuff TV, the Untechnical Tech Channel. I'm here at CES 2023 with Ben Q. I walked in here, I was expecting to do some regular old, you know, projectors, regular projectors, you know, the 4K kind. But they showed me this gaming projector. I didn't even know this was a real thing. I got my man here, G. He's gonna be talking to us. So let me let me come over here. I'm not a I'm not a gamer. I die a lot. Okay, I die, I die all the time and I really suck this. So he's actually gonna play the game. And I'm going to ask him some questions about this new gaming uh, projector they have here. And I'm going to see how well you can multitask by ask, <laughs> answering my questions. I will try my best. <laughs> all right. So tell me about this thing. First of all, what is the model number? So it's an X3009, our flagship model uh -huh. uh, gaming projector. Uh, and yeah, this one is a 4K projector. And you're um, playing God of War, right? Yes. And I'm playing God of War Ragnarok. Man, that is buttery smooth right there. Yep. A big question I get with projectors when people look at regular projectors and they want to hook up their uh, gaming rig to it is any delay mm -hmm. or uh, they call it screen tearing and stuff sure. like that. So uh, how is this optimized for some situations like that? Yeah, so a lot of people when they look at the gaming projector, the, the first worry that they have is uh, the input lag we call, mm -hmm. so delay. Mm -hmm. um, so of course, compared to our other um, gaming monitors that we have, Zowie or Mobius brands, of course, we are not as competitive as those monitors, mm -hmm. but this um, is fast enough so that you don't really feel the difference. Mm -hmm. um, this can, so for 4K, we can provide 60 Hertz. For 1080p, we can provide two, uh, 120 hertz or up to 240 hertz. So this is pretty fast. And then um, actually we had some gaming, uh, the professional gamers came here to test this gaming projector as well. They said um, they feel the slight difference, but it was at a point that they don't really feel, um, or they don't really feel disturbed from the delay. Okay, that's good to know that professional gamers said it's good to go, basically. And I'm looking at the resolution here. This is so crispy. Wow. And what, what size screen are we projecting on right now? So right now, this is 100 inch. Okay. Um, so How far back do we have to be to get 100 inches out of this thing? Uh, so uh, about seven, seven, seven to eight feet. Yeah, seven, seven to eight, eight, feet eight feet for 100 inches. That's actually pretty close, to be honest with you. And I'm not hearing I mean, I know we're in a pretty loud room, but I'm not hearing a fan. So it's a pretty quiet projector to be putting this out. It's 4K? Yes. Wow. And for the 4K 60Hz, it can be seen in the whole world. Wow. And uh -huh. 120 120Hz can be 8ms. 240Hz can be 4ms. Wow. Okay, so y'all have done your homework before you put this thing out here. Hey, this is a great picture. And it's, it seems like it's a pretty seamless hookup, just like anything else, HDMI in the back. Yes, it's all right. HDMI. And are we working with LED or bulb yeah. or? Yeah, so this is a four LED, mm -hmm. meaning we have um, RGB, just a regular RGB, plus okay. one blue, one more blue. Um, so um, this can, yeah, that's why the projector is very bright. Okay. And it has a long life. Time. This is bright, because we got a lot of ambient light coming through this room. Like it's, it's a fully lit room and I'm still able to see the picture this nicely. I'm here for it, I'm here for it. So as far as um, other connections in the back, I can't really see it right now. We got, how many HDMI's? Uh, we have two. Uh, we have two external HDMI ports, but one is a internal HDMI port for our Android TV dongle. So uh, you got Android TV in here? Yeah, yep. so not only play game, uh, you can also enjoy watch the uh, YouTube, HBO Max, Disney Plus. All right, great. So Anne doesn't have a mic. Uh, what she said was they have two external HDMI's and one internal, and that's what hooks up your Android TV dongle. So you got Android TV into this thing. So essentially you could cloud game via Xbox. Uh, well, once Google allows it. <laughs> once Google allows Xbox uh, to be on there, not Xbox, um, Game Pass, that's what it is. And uh, possibly even Amazon Luna, that'll be great. So you can cloud game, but this is a gaming, this is a gaming projector. I didn't even know this was a thing. Is this the first of its kind? Uh, so we are the first brand to uh, push this gaming projector. Okay. So we try to, Build, well, so 
projector has been there for a long time right. and a lot of people has been using projector to play uh, casual games uh -huh. but we are the first one to actually put more features like a low input lag or better color for the gamers gotcha now gee i gotta ask you man you know we're professionals right like we're professional guys mm -hmm. but look what we're doing for a living you're sitting here playing video games and i'm sitting here talking to you about it <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, new stuff TV still on the scene at CES. And we're doing home entertainment because we spend a lot of time at home doing the entertainment thing. And uh, we are here still with Ben Q. We're checking out this projector here. This is a this is the big dog. This is the big dog. The 4K. Wait a minute. I got to get that model number right. I got to get that model number. HT 4550i. This is the big dog, man. Look at this picture. And to tell us more about it, I got my new friend Anne here. Hey, hello. Anne might be a bit nervous, so we're gonna make her even more nervous. <laughs> okay. <Give me laughs> Is some it possible toilet. to turn the volume down a little bit on this? Oh, okay, sure. Just a little bit. This thing has a great speaker, by the way. That's why I'm asking her to turn it down because it's projecting that sound. But it's also projecting this fantastic crispy picture. So tell us more about this. Uh, this projector, eh? Yeah. So actually, this year, uh, BenQ is going to uh, upgrade all the major uh, home model to 4 LED. Mm -hmm. So this one is a 4K 4 LED uh, projector. And of course, with our best color quality, so it's a 100% DCI-P3. So that means we can get a very awesome color. Look at that pop. Wow. I saw the gold just yeah. a moment ago. And it just yeah, There it is. Wow. Okay, that's... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to <laughs> It got me. Yeah, so because of uh, we upgrade from LAN to LED, uh -huh. so that's why we got a new LED uh, light engine, optical engine. Okay. So that means it can let our uh, contrast is lighter, can be light version can be lighter, mm -hmm. but the dark one can be darker. So that means the older uh, contrast is bigger, wider, and also for our BenQ, uh, unique, um, HDR Pro tone mapping, so you can see the very uh, deep uh, on the contrast. Guys, I mean, I know you were getting it on a video on YouTube, but this looks like an OLED TV. It, it really comes through really sharp and crisp. Look at the, oh wow, that's, that's a great image. So what size screen is this right here? Oh, this one is a 100 inch. 100 inches, and we're about what, eight feet away? Yeah, about eight feet away. Eight feet away, 100 inches, and what can this produce? Oh, as it, far as size? it is a, uh, the brightness is No, a, as far as the screen size. What yeah, can the we go screen size is 100 inch. Is that the max screen size you can achieve with this projector? Oh, no, actually, we can do like a 150 inch, no problem. 150 inches. If you need bigger than that, then. I can't help you. <laughs> that's that's huge. That's a lot. So as far as uh, the brightness, uh, what are we talking about as far as like anti lumens and stuff like that? Oh, the anti lumen is a uh, thirty to hundred, so it's a uh, high brightness. You can use it in dark room like this one, but for your uh, daily living room mm -hmm. with some ambient light, for sure, no problem. Okay. Now you guys can't really see this right now, but we are in a very well lit area i have a lot of light coming in from the right hand side we have this ambient light here coming from the back and i i like this lamp right here that's a oh, cool lamp it is also a benq like spray little genie <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah we have a ton of ambient light coming in here so this means to me that you could have this projector going in your living room and you don't have to be in total darkness and you're getting this super bright picture yeah. that is that is really nice all right so as far as inputs how many HDMI's uh, do we have VGA? I mean, people don't use that anymore, do they? Yeah. VGA? <laughs> uh, I think uh, it's already 4K, so no need to use a VGA. Okay. But we do have the HDMI pole. Uh -huh. And uh, this one is uh, actually we designed for uh, AV enthusiastic, mm. the movie lover. So actually we have a very, I would say, interesting function mm -hmm. to introduce to them. So let me show you. So because we know a lot of uh, AV enthusiastic, they love to do the setup by themselves, mm -hmm. so they can go to the uh, advanced color setting, and then go to the advanced color temperature setting, QNI. And so you have 11 point uh, RGB uh, they can set up. So they can find their own best personal setup. So mm -hmm. that's a projector 
uh, we didn't provide before. So a lot of people, they want to play around it. Now they can. Yeah, that's a lot of detail in your customization. Yeah. Get out of here. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, I've seen all the basic stuff, but that was way advanced. <laughs> that was way out there. All right, so we can get all the colors we want to pull out of this thing. You got all the ports you need. Oh, man, what else is there to talk about? Oh, uh, very important is uh, you want to watch the movie, right? right? But also want to watch the streaming. So now actually in the back, we have a ATV a dango. It's uh, called Android TV 2. Mm -hmm. So that means not only the YouTube, not only the uh, like uh, HBO, but now finally we have a Netflix inside. Yeah. So that's built in it. Yeah, or is it that's a dongle? building uh, with a dongle already uh, in the back. Yeah, it. Here. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I see it. Okay. Yeah. And so you can stream from this thing. Yes. We Netflix, Netflix, HBO, HBO, Disney Plus, Hulu. So all the stuff. All the stuff. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Are you allowed to tell me retail prices right now, or is this something that's? Yeah, it's. <laughs> um, I would say under three thousand dollars. Under three k. Yeah, usually, usually for this kind of product, uh, especially for the people who want to sit in mount, uh -huh. we have the vertical and the horizontal lens shift. Okay. Uh, with the big lens shift, usually is about uh, three three thousand, like a uh, thirty five hundred. Uh -huh. But this one we want to introduce to more home, so it's uh, under three thousand. That's actually a really great price for what you just told me you're getting. When you look at this, man, that is an amazing picture. It's, it's, it's really popping out at me. Well, I'm thoroughly impressed with this one. How, and so is this one brand new on the market? Uh, no, uh, it was launched, fully launched in about April. April, okay. April. So we still need to wait three months. Three more months and you guys can get it. But you saw it first here, well, maybe, on, <laughs> on New Stuff TV. I'm not an expert in this kind of stuff, but what I do know is I like watching crispy, clean content. And I'm really enjoying it on this HT 45550i. Y'all keep being good to each other and we'll see you when we see you. You got to do that. You gotta okay. Do, you got to see you. Okay. <laughs>